So uh, as you can see, we have some police action across the street. It seems like the dead building is their main focus. It's a so-called Samski Dom, basically, which we would translate it as bachelor's home. So, before independence, it was home for the single bachelors, which were working in the Litostroy factory. But after the independence, when the Litostroy factory went went bust it was sold and now there is a, basically it's a regular apartment building and as you can see the cordon of the whole area up to the street and five minutes ago oh, there is still one police SWAT team, if you can call it that. Came and they also brought in all the breaching equipment. But yeah. This uh, building basically has a reputa reputation for criminal activities. A couple years ago, a guy was killed. I think he, he was a guy who was killed in the apartment. There was no commotion then. Basically, I found out from the papers that one was killed there. And TJ, of course, he's not interested in the commotion, while Lisa is more, let's say, interested in the activities. But yeah, quite a lot of, a lot of cops going on. Uh, previous week, there was one major Uh, one major action, not here across the street, but near our usual walking route, they busted some. Um, it, there were um, basically um, not marijuana, but yeah, different drugs. There were traffickers. And two weeks ago, they found, uh, let's say, marijuana factory also here in Shishka area. Don't know where was that factory, but yeah. We have quite a lot of police activity in the area lately but it doesn't affect, let's say, the quality of life whatsoever. Several years ago, when I was still in uh, elementary school, Shishka was considered a ghetto. Ghetto in the sense of more than usual criminal activity but that that isn't surprising because Shishka is the most populated part of the Ljubljana and with the largest concentration of people which means more people more crimes
still pretty quiet no shouting no screaming no shooting that's the most important Well, TJ today isn't in a very playful mood. He's just walking around, sniffing. Dara, uh, she's in heat, so TJ, of course, is in love. And basically, he's just walking around and sniffing where Dara was or where she left her mark. And Lisa is today in very good mood, as you can see. Grima. Okay. I checked on the local news and there is no information given. Uh -huh. uh, Ballistic shields are coming out. So yeah, apparently they are expecting quite quite a confrontation with, let's say, suspects. And TJ just sniffing along. Usually Dara is using the this fence, well the we call it green fence. I don't know how is it called the same in the English speaking world. So green fence is any shrubbery or Shrubbery, or what is the English word for it? Um, and I cannot remember it. Bush. Huh. And there are also police just on the other side of the bush. We can hear the radio going on, off. Oh, so yeah, apparently in the morning, uh, this is Slovenia Auto building, named after the company that was before in this building, and according to mom, when she went to the city, so to work, there were a lot of cops also around the building and there is also a small gas pump on that side of the building and there are apparently a lot of cops but currently I don't see any one of the of them there so, so most likely they were just staging there before they came across the street and DJ now expressed the desire for some tennis balls. Kima jogi, kisa jogice. 
and I don't know where his tennis balls are, so a travesty, a huge travesty in his opinion. Usually he leaves some here when he goes to pee and sniff around, but no. Yeah, boom on idol, no? Yeah, he's impatient. And usually there are some here, but no, they are not. I think I saw one here when we came out. And Lisa was playing with it. No, uh, somebody was digging. Most likely Lisa. No balls here. So yeah, I will keep you informed what was going on across the street. As you can see, quite a lot of cops, cop cars there, and we don't still haven't found any balls. Tennis balls, yeah. Sometimes they get, and there is one. Lisa with her neck exercise. Very into it. Kaiser Lizzy. We can pick the ball. And. Pochasi, Pochasi. Greed done. With her, this tire. Tire toy, there is always a possibility that you will get it in the head face or when she's inside in the monitor TV <laughs> or one time it landed on the stove in some pans that we were just making I think it was lunch yeah <laughs> Yeah, Lisa says the best part is pulling. And TJ is of course upset. No attention to him is given. Yeah, still no activity across the street except of police cars coming and police officers going in. So yeah, that's it for today or for now. If I found if I will find anything new of what is going on I will inform you later bye so it's just after 10 a.m. as you can see this officer is going they are, they are all they already have removed the tape around the 
the SWAT team has already left. Yeah, TJ. So the story is around uh, 7 a.m. that uh, that gas station pump was robbed, and the perpetrator or alleged perpetrator ran you know, and hide hide hit hit in the that apartment building there is no info if he was a resident or basically he just found an open door when the police were chasing him but yeah he was hiding was cornered in the building then the from so around 7 a.m. until almost 10 p.m. three hours the standoff was in the building was going on at first just the regular police patrols were on the scene and then as you can could see in the previous video uh, the special forces SWAT team came most likely also a uh, police negotiator came with them and they resolved the issue he was arrested and now they are most likely just securing the scene so yeah Some people are still looking around what was going on. Basically just an ordinary day here in Shishka. A little bit of excitement, but not too much. But yeah, when I was in elementary school, one of the also, let's say, incident was occurring here but not in the Samsky door building but in I believe in that building um, so the story is a man barricaded himself in the apartment it was his apartment and he was threatening to blow up the apartment the building basically everything and now, if I recall correctly, I don't know if we had the gas canisters or military bombs, grenades. I know that he had some sort of bomb. In Slovene, let's say gas canister, gas canisters, so the cooking gas canisters are also known as uh, gas bombs, Plinska Bomba. I believe that he had gas canisters, but uh, perhaps he also had some hand grenades because if I recall correctly, he was a um, vet from one of the wars in former Yugoslavia from Croatia or Bosnia and Herzegovina and it was, I think, some case of a case of PTSD but yeah as you can could see before the building is okay they negotiated and nothing happened and finally we have some sun this week this uh today so it's friday today was the first day you know in a week that we didn't have rain during our morning walk, so these two were particularly happy about that. And yeah, and Lisa is also pretty energetic today. Rich, Rich, I need a Pridna, Pridna, yeah. So yeah, most likely no rain, so sun is out. Well, it's coming out. And they can be outside for the rest of the day.
So yeah, that's it for today. Uh -huh. That copy is leaving. No more cop. Police officer. Ne, da lizi. Pridna si. Pridna lizi. So, ja. That's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Aha. One more thing before I go. For the, the old or regular viewers. During the evening or night I will post some short videos that you had already seen but I have just shortened them so under the minute that I could use them on reddit uh -huh. there is Pia a, lab, a yellow lab and of course TJ has to bark as usual yeah that's the TJ's method he will bark when he sees the dog around the house but if the dog comes near the house the fence it's okay basically he's just saying I'm home please come and see me so yeah there is Pia the yellow lap Lisa is not so friendly yeah 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 Lizzy TJ call Lizzy is not so friendly with Pia because she's Pia is uh, also a friend of Rex and this is a bit of jealous one she doesn't want any other female dogs to play with her friend but yeah so one police car two two are still on the scene and yeah that's it thanks for watching as I said before, there will be some videos. Some of you have already seen them, but others, perhaps, it will be something new for you. So, yeah, thank you, and we'll see you later.